After 42 years, the Royal Yacht Britannia is nearing the end of her seagoing life. Amidst a storm of controversy about her future, she sets sail from Portsmouth on perhaps her last official state visit. While the rest of the Royal Navy has adapted to changing times, the Royal Yacht has kept firmly to the standards and attitudes of the 1950s when she was built. Stepping into Britannia is like stepping into a living museum. Britannia is half ship, half royal residence, a palace at sea, with 84 official and state visits behind her. The 85th is about to begin, and it will follow the same well-oiled routine as all the rest. May we do Sophie Fair, please, as you did on the beach retreat. Because yeah, we'll go straight in, there'll be no rolls, we'll be straight in, okay? <laughs> is an essential element of the ceremony and pomp of state visits and is on board for all major tours. Britannia is the size of a large frigate and costs 10 million pounds a year to run. She has a crew of 250, all men, 229 ratings called Royal Yachtsmen and 21 officers. The Royal Yachtsmen are all naval volunteers. You've had it all for the Queen. You've had the paint pot out. One mile to run. <laughs> like the rest of Britannia, the highly polished engine room seems to belong to a different era. 4.4 make up speed. She's still driven by steam, with a top speed of 22 knots, which is regulated by opening and shutting large valves by hand. She's a tribute to British design and technology of the 1950s. At the moment, we're just manoeuvring, doing, doing a tight turn to starboard to get us in alongside the wall. So uh, what they've just done, they've bumped on the uh, half ahead starboard, uh, slow ahead port, and then we've got a stern on the port side. There are three galleys on Britannia. The main galley, which caters for the ratings, the wardroom galley for the officers, and the royal galley, which looks after the royal household and prepares all the state banquets. With five courses and at least 60 guests, the main problem is space. I think most chefs would find it a nightmare doing a banquet and a reception in these conditions. Uh, luckily, it's not moving, but there's lots of time, a lot of our preps done at sea. And the Buckingham Palace sailors, as we call their chefs, are fabulous because, unlike a lot of people can feel ill and seasick, they're, they're pretty much good troopers. They just get in and get going. But uh, because Britannia is so old, you know, we have a problem with fridge spaces and things like that. Uh, things have got to be taken down to low to the big ship company freezers. So it's not like in a normal kitchen where you can pull something out of a cupboard or a fridge. You've got to go down three or four decks for it. Commander Hugh Daglish is second in command of Britannia, in charge of the day-to-day -day running of the ship. This is the day the Queen is due to arrive. Looking as closely as I can at all the detail, 
um, just to see if there's anything we've missed. What kind of thing? Well, I saw a slight smudge on the corner there, on the white, which um, we can wipe off. Uh, the propellers on the boats have to be the right way up. There's one blade at the top and, and two, two down. So they're all the same. Most people wouldn't notice that, but um, important people might. By the time the Queen arrives, Britannia's surfaces of white paint, varnished wood, brass and chrome will have been scrubbed, cleaned, painted and polished to perfection. Llewellyn, keeper and steward of the Royal Apartments, and Admiral Robert Woodard set out on a last-minute inspection of the Royal Apartments. The Admiral is in overall charge of Britannia and serves for five years. This is Admiral Woodard's last trip. Retirement follows. He won't hear any criticism of Britannia. It is such a mistake to think that the Royal Yacht uh, merely appears once a year somewhere. It may do on television. It may do in the newspaper. It jolly well doesn't to the people around the world. On average, we're uh, away from home for six, seven, sometimes eight months in a year. And the million miles in 40 years we achieved a year ago is once around the globe for every year of her life. So when you hear people saying, oh, she only worked for 11 days last year, it really means that the person has totally and utterly missed the point. Yesterday, I saw some special flowers coming in, beginning with a P. Yes, sir, yeah, Protea. Protea. Yes, sir. They're, they're local they're specialities. The, they are, sir, yeah. As a present for the When I started off in the Navy as a cook or a junior assistant cook, I couldn't imagine myself being an officer. I certainly couldn't imagine myself being on board the Royal Yacht as an officer. I mean, so close to so many people, which I never thought I'd ever, ever meet. No. We haven't got the bits of the Duke's computer. Not yet, sir. No. No. 